Today we're checking out some more Star Trek The Next Generation Season 4. Counselor Deanna oh. Troy, Stardate 44805.3. My mother is on board. Oh, Luxana in the house. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. He's here. <laughs> yes, indeed. I am rather busy at the moment. And you're always busy with something around. I love it so much. <laughs> This is in the nature of an official greeting, so... <gasps> diplomacy. Oh, I adore diplomacy. <laughs> Everyone dresses so well. <laughs> That's true. He'll have his dress robes on. Mr. O'Brien, energize. Energize, O'Brien. Hit it. She just invites herself right in. Oh, it's yes, not, they told me. Shaking hands are a form of greeting. <clears throat> Get out of here. Holder of the sacred chalice of Reeks, heir of the holy rings of Beta Z, and what are you doing for dinner? Oh my god, she is always on the hunt. That man's in a lot of trouble. Yep, 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 yep. Luxana, Luxana episodes just amuse the heck out of me, if only for Picard's clear discomfort. Oh my god, I love it so much. That was, that was my biggest laugh at the beginning of an episode so far. Opened with a wheeze. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyagers of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. For generations, the people of Kalon 2 have been working to revitalize their dying sun. Hmm. The Federation has offered to assist in testing what may be a solution. Oh, I'm curious about that solution. Thank you for this opportunity. My only wish has been to find a way to revive our son before I die. Is he dying? This is Troy. <laughs> what, what? Don't I touch anything. I must protest your unauthorized presence. Uh, what does that little one do, Mr. Wolf? Oh, my Please, God. Please, madam. <laughs> She's just pressing torpedo buttons. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you. Right. Oh. So nice to see you again. Mother, what did you want? What? You were waiting for me. Oh, yes, dear. Of course I was. <laughs> Scram. Mrs. Troy, I have to ask you to clear the bridge, please. Yeah, square I don't see why. There are lots of other people here. You don't work here. Well, don't you worry. We'll just have our little chat later. Oh, she'll she'll track you down, sir. Riker loves it. You're going to get sick, and who's that going to help? I've made some <laughs> perfectly marvelous Mantikian pate. Oh my. These two. Call me Mrs. Troy. These two. You call me Luaxana. Luaxana. Mr. Holm? I think he likes her. Spread it. <laughs> Having a little picnic in engineering. Would you come in for a nightcap? Go for it, buddy. Well, that's extremely kind of you, but what's it? <laughs> My valet sleeps elsewhere. She doesn't take no for an answer. You make me laugh. <laughs> I, mean, that I, I don't mean that your invitation <laughs> makes me laugh. I mean, I take that quite seriously. Oh, no, I, I mean, just say yes. I'll make you laugh some more. They're kind of sweet. But I must say no. No. He's kind of sad. Commercial break. I need to know more about him. He looks very sad. Oh, I tried telepathy on him. He's the wrong species. Right species for everything else, though. You might try that once in a while, too. <sighs> Troy could get it if she wanted to. Mr. LaForge, the system is clear. Final pre-launch diagnostic, level five. All systems verified. We're ready here when you are, Captain. Yeah, yeah, launch the torpedoes. Cool. Torpedoes now entering the stellar core. Their shields are holding. Guidance systems normal. Going right into the core and they're gonna, then they're going to explode it? Oh, I just assumed they'd explode on impact. Temperature at 90 million degrees Kelvin. And now 110 million. Looking good. 137. I want to know what he's so sad about. And holding. That's it. Looks like congratulations may be in order. Can he breathe easy now? Is something going to go wrong? Too hot? Temperature is rising in the core again, Captain. 230 million degrees Kelvin. Uh-oh. Still rising, Captain. Is it going to explode? Core density is becoming unstable. Chill Let's up. get the hell out of here. And some walk to now. Yeah, warp out of there. Good call. It's going to explode. Supernova. Captain Picard, 
permit me to express my appreciation to you and your crew. Huh? I am most grateful. I'm most grateful. I feel bad for him. Not bad. Unless she's going to be nice. I mean, she's nice, but she's just a little bit much. I sparkled a bit myself in those days. I mean, you're supposed to tell me I still sparkle. I'm sorry, I'm not helping him. You're no. very kind. I'm just not adequate company right now. Oh, that's all right. I can make enough conversation for both of us. <laughs> Lord knows she can. You see, Luxana, I'm on my way home now to die. He's gonna die? We've been studying the sensor logs and the torpedo telemetry to determine, determine if there was any malfunction. If there was, then we are able to isolate the problem. Another test might be successful. So it's just a test star. It wasn't his son. When a person on this benighted little planet reaches the age of 60, which Timothy is about to do, they're expected to simply... Did you know that? What? Oh. He is supposed to go down there to his loving friends, be wine dined, honored for his achievements, and then... It's a barbaric ritual. That's crazy. No wonder he's so sad. Roxana, I'm sorry, but whatever my personal feelings, I have no jurisdiction here. I simply cannot interfere. Mm -hmm. But you have to. Maybe he can run away with Roxana. Well, it's your prime directive, not mine. Yeah, maybe she could change his mind. They should run away together. Telling me that I'm a prisoner on this ship. Mother, what's going on? She's breaking out. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Counselor. I'm not sure what to do here. Well, I am sure. I am a Betazoid ambassador. She likes that guy. They expect Timison to die. Don't you realize that? Just because he's 60. But 60 is nothing. Yeah, how old is she? <sighs> I'll go check the pattern buffers. Scram. <laughs> yes, don't let her go. He's just going to die, <laughs> and for no good reason. <laughs> yeah, that is brutal. But it's not really about you, lady. His life no longer had any value or meaning. <laughs> I mean, this is a little bit about her, I think, her own mortality. You will never be one of those who dies before they die. <laughs> he doesn't want to die, right? I will say it again, you are a kind woman. No, no, I'm a hateful woman. I hate what you're going to do. It is the way of my world. Then leave your world. Oh. Oksana falls in love. I mean, she always falls in love, kind of, but... We had no such concern for our elders. Their health failed. They became invalids. And those whose families could no longer care for them were put away into death watch facilities. Death watch. We are no longer that cruel. No, no, you're not cruel to them. You just kill them. But if, if you're still alive and in health and useful. What about the responsibility of caring for the elderly? That would place a dreadful burden on the children. Or is it part of life? What's that? Oscoids, a beta that delicacy. <laughs> It's very interesting. Just tried it while you were still alive. No reason to bother now. Why 60? Why not 62, 58? A reasonable age had to be set. Lots of people are still useful at 60. Lots. Makes no sense. Some of your people could still be active at 70 or 80, and, and others might be seriously ill at 50. Mm -hmm. Right. Why not let everybody die when they die? You have a grandson, you said. Yes. Almost seven. Well, wouldn't it be better for him to know his grandfather? I don't think she's going to convince him. Roxana, this is a custom that I have known and accepted all my life. I suppose we have to respect it. She had the courage to stand up and fight for change. She must have been a lot like you. Timison, there is no one more qualified, more experienced, or more likely to save their planet than you. That's true, yeah. And that is the way it is. I mean, it says choice, but... Look here. 42 seconds into the test, there is a sudden rise in the level of hydrogen alpha emissions. And here, here's another. I'm right, aren't I? Solved it. Using these test results, we could construct a new computer model of the energy dynamic of a star that can test a new detonation program. It would take time. Time for you to leave us, then. Captain... I have come to officially request asylum aboard the Enterprise. Yes. Grant it, grant it. Commercial break. I don't want this guy to die. I like him. I turn 60 in four days, Minister. Yes, and your family and colleagues are already gathering for your resolution. 
Barbaric. Are you being coerced? Influenced, perhaps. Coerced? No. Influenced by a woman. And science. No one on Kalon 2 understands this project as I do. Others started your work, others will finish it. It has always been this way. It always will. There's a better way. Maybe. Kalon warships rising on an intercept course. Acknowledge, Commander. What, they're coming for him? Minister, we're here in friendship, hoping to be of assistance. I suggest you return Timison and depart. If you attempt to leave orbit with Timison on board, Don't our pursue. ships have been ordered to open fire. Really? <sighs> What's he gonna do? Any communications, number one? No, sir, we have an open channel. The warships are taking a standard attack posture. Staggered Guys, approach vectors within weapons range. You don't want to pick a fight with the Federation. Mr. Wolf, ascertain their offensive potential. Aye, sir. I'm curious about that. They can't do any damage. Like, true damage to the Federation? Hmm. Even if I find the solution, you will not accept it? Because they do not terminate my life, they terminate my work. Alive, I am a greater threat to my world than a dying son. Is he going to think it's pointless to stay alive now? Luxana, I want to live because I see in you how much I have to live for. That's nice. Where will I go now, Luxana? I'm a man without a world. I can't go home. You can come back with her. Bridge to Dr. Timison. You have a visitor coming aboard. Return up? No, sir, it's your daughter. Ah, I was wondering about his family. Will his daughter want him to do the, the, what is it, the ritual, the resolution? If I could show you the work I have begun, there's still so much for me to do. There is nothing for me to look at. It is irrelevant. She doesn't care. It is your time to rest. Perhaps you will feel differently as you get a little older. Say, approaching 60. My father taught me to cherish the resolution. I don't know how you have poisoned him to reject it. It does appear that way to her, I'm sure. How dare you criticize my way of life and my beliefs? Please, please Dara. A lady, ladies. Where will you go? Yeah, you can't go home. I don't know. And where will you die? Yeah, I think that... I the, cannot bear the thought of you being laid to rest on some other world. The act of dying and, and the ritual of it is very, very important. I don't know how you can go on with your life knowing that each day is an insult to everything we believe in. He's doing it for you. He wants to save the world for you. But I am ashamed. <laughs> wow. I think he might go. I would like to be alone now, please. I think he might be my favorite guest star so far. He, he's really getting me. Maybe I want him to live just to keep me company. Of course you do. Yeah. But you didn't do this for yourself. You did it for him. She does care for him. But it should be the point of view of any reasonably intelligent middle-aged person. Ah, <sighs> unfortunately, it is not. You can't just pass judgment on the rituals of other cultures, though, you know? Do you believe that I love you? Finally, if that is my only reason to stay alive, I can't be that selfish, Luxana. His daughter saying she was ashamed really did it, I think. I am not the person to lead the revolt. Such a waste. I wish you and your people well. When it is time for another test, I will encourage my people to seek your assistance again. This sucks. Is she going to? Roxana. It is the custom for your loved ones to join you at this resolution, is it not? She's gonna go? We are ready, Mr. O'Brien. That is so sad. I can't even sing the theme song. Okay, that was season four, episode 22, and that was like a very somber episode, and I actually really liked it. I don't know if you guys really like it. I know that a lot of people are not huge fans of Luxana, of the Troys in general, and those kind of episodes that feature them, but I, first of all, I, I usually like 
Luxana episodes because I'm highly amused at how amused the rest of the cast is and how annoyed Picard is. So I always enjoyed that aspect of it. But I did enjoy seeing her, at least near the end anyway, tone it down. I mean, for most of this episode, she was still typical Luxana, you know, over the top, melodramatic. But at the end, even like even her clothes were subdued. She addressed the captain professionally. She definitely showed that there's more to her character than just like, like I think her, her natural personality is, is flamboyant and, and kind of pushing everyone's buttons. She gets a kick out of it or whatever, but you can tell there's more to her. She really was there for him in the end in a reserved way. She just wanted to be there to support him, join a person she cared about on a really hard thing. And this episode is about like some hard questions. And I don't know that there would be a resolution to this episode, not that kind of resolution, uh, but a resolution to this episode that would feel right either way. Even though, I mean, in this case, I absolutely think he should have run off with her and not gone to die. But besides being an episode that's about getting older, elderly care, and how we treat older people in society, those kinds of questions, which are interesting and important, you know, you can see plainly that the, the solution that this society has is barbaric from our perspective, totally barbaric, and we are rooting for this guy not to do that. But I also think this episode is a little bit about tolerance of other cultures that we don't understand and that we don't agree with. And also like when you get into a relationship with someone, even a friendship or you know whatever kind of relationship, if you have opposing views, if your cultures are clashing, you have to find a way to respect each other enough and tolerate things that you don't understand or believe in and this is like the absolute extreme of that it's it's someone's going to die but in the end it was his choice and I do think the daughter coming to visit really sealed the deal sealed his fate he wasn't gonna run off after that it sucks because I don't believe it was the right thing I don't think he should have gone to die and I know that Picard didn't think that either you know no one on the ship did but it's not for us to decide what everybody else can do and that is part of the Prime Directive. Although I know a lot of people say like the Prime Directive is barbaric. You should be able to just stop things that are not right. But like who are we to say what's right and wrong? If this society has decided it's right, if ultimately it was his decision, although I don't think that's what he really wanted in his heart. I don't know. I don't know. This one's really complicated. I wish that he hadn't gone back. I really do. I, I disagree with the decision in the end, but I'm trying to think of if I had been a friend of his though that he met on the Enterprise or if I was Loxana and I and I had feelings for him in the end I would have had to accept it and I would have had to do what she did which was support him if you care about him go be there with him I don't know man it's hard that's hard I as I said in the episode I really enjoyed the actor a lot it's a big statement to make that he's my favorite guest star there, there's lots of excellent guest star obviously but in terms of guest stars and you know one-off characters that we never see again I assume this is definitely up there of like I actually cared about this guy I was very sad about the decision in the end and that that takes a lot it I, I don't I've said it before it's hard for me to connect with characters of the week that I don't anticipate we will see again uh, but I really right away felt something different about this guy. I really liked this actor. I thought he did a really good job. He was very somber. He, he emoted a lot. He didn't have a lot of dialogue, really, uh, but I, I just really liked him. I just really liked him. I connected with him. This one's complicated, but that's one of the best parts about Star Trek, is it deals with complicated ideas. Curious to hear what you guys think about this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time, too, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.